Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Darksiders War Mastered Edition. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are at the Drowned Pass, where we will find... Oh no, we won't find Old Thane, we're finding Old Thane. Old Thane's actually Anvil's Ford, which is the next section. So what we're going to do is start off by diving on down here. We have this cave behind us, here we go. What are the controls? I gotta remember the controls. But up here we got ourselves our first artifact we're gonna nab in this location. We're gonna get two of these bad boys. Two soldier artifacts. We're gonna get the other one very shortly as well. Oh shit, we got those fish attacking us. Yeah, get out of here. Mm. Mm. Eat it, fish. They still take two hits. Come on. Ooh, I just got Slayer. Kill. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kill 666 demons. Sounds good. Um, there is a cave over here that'll loop around, but that area is like blocked off by that blue ice, so we can't access it anyway. It's pointless. I believe... Ow. Did I pass it? Oh yeah, it's in here. My bad. There's another tunnel over here. We're going to dip dive and go down under. Um, we're going to revisit this location in a second because we have another gatekeeper that we're going to talk to. But when you're in that mode or whatever, you can't. It doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't let you access chests or pick up artifacts or do all kinds of stuff. Boom, gotta get that weapon experience, you know. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, so we got two chests to grab here. This first one's gonna be full of some souls, and the next one's gonna have an abyssal armor piece in it, so that's cool. So you can see one of the platforms are here, one of those platforms with the trials on it that we're gonna have to do. But if we were in that Shadow Realm area... How many is that now? Four. So we got four. If we were in the Shadow Realm area, those two chests would look transparent just like this platform does right now. So we're getting that at the moment. Alright, so now we can actually... Get back. You can actually see the <laughs> the artifact chilling down there. We're gonna go down there real quick. And there's a chest right here. Let's go ahead and grab this thing first. And then we'll head on inside this building. Not through that way. I guess you can't go through that window. I wish you could lock onto these fish, but you can't. Alright, can we no okay we gotta go the other way. It's good the war can breathe underwater, like, indefinitely, or infinitely, I don't know. He can breathe underwater. I don't know why I'm giving it some extra word just to express. I mean, he can just breathe underwater, straight up. It's good, though, and it makes sense, because he's a horseman, and if he could die by drowning, that would, that would kind of break the... That would kind of break it for me a little bit. I'd be like, really? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> now we want to head over here and... We're going to hit this crystal platform switch. And that's going to rise. It's going to go to the top of the water and allow us to hop across to this gap. I think we might have just gotten everything that we possibly can at the moment. Aside from, like, what that switch is going to raise, you know. There's also a Vulgrim location in here. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna check that out for a second. Oh, this is not... What am I doing? So dumb. I'm so sorry. There we go. I should look at the mini-map more. I'm, I'm not, like, paying attention to the mini-map. I'm just enjoying the environment. Which is good, because I feel like gamers spend way too much time looking at mini-maps these days.
How do I... Damn it. Alright, that seems to have killed him. Worked out pretty well. Get our next lifestone shard. Let's see, is this number six? Yes, it is. Lifestone shard number six. I'm just gonna get back in the water and go. Alright, so that should be our last collectible to grab for the moment. Now we have to go talk to the gatekeeper and see what's good. The Vulgrim location is, I guess if you need it, is uh, to the left over here. Well, not over here. Never mind. This is just an empty spot. <laughs> I forgot about this little nook over here. I don't know if anything else happens later on or something. I don't think so, but there is an enemy spawn, so I can get some souls and experience over here that I do need. Cool if my Chaos Eater Blade will level up before I get to get to the hollows. That did not happen in my practice playthrough, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be different this time. <clears throat> it's like a third of the way there, it looks like. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. All right, now we'll go talk to the gatekeeper. Now we've got a few more, a few more souls. Um, this... This leads, there's a tunnel under here that will lead to the, uh, lead to the, uh, one of the portals or whatever, the trials, trial things. Now, if you need to go visit Vulgrim, just go up here to the left. After you get ambushed by these fools. Okay, I'll just go show, I'll, I'll go clear this whole part up here. Just a few enemies, and there's the the vulgar location that we'll get on the map. Get yourself another serpent hole access point, the the warp point for the the drown pass. It's a pretty cool area, and I can show off the stuff up here too. All right, so we probably I I'm pretty sure I pointed out one of those orange things before. Um, we need the, I think it's like the Mask of Shadows or something. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called in order to access points like that to like see something. I believe it's the Mask of Shadows. Or we need some, I don't know, we need something to, to get a, across there. And then you also have an Abyssal Chain um, spot right here. We need the Abyssal Chain for it. Won't be getting that for a little bit. And then we need the Tremor Gauntlets for that, which we'll be getting after the well we we get it during this next main dungeon here's the vulgrim location i think i might talk to him real quick let's see do i want to do anything yeah there we go. let's level that up trading these artifacts too Sixteen oh four, huh yeah why not i'll get the ricochet blade and I don't really use any of these here. I guess we'll do that. What would you ask of this like I said, I want to just max out my arsenal of Chaos Eater attacks. And I want to kind of do it early so I can capitalize on all the moves. Alright, right over there. Beyond this guy is where we started. Oh, shit. I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh man, I'm pressing the wrong button. Ow. There we go, it was left bumper. I kept pressing the right bumper for some reason. I got really close to dying right there. Okay. I took a lot of damage there, that was really poor. Alright, anyways, so yeah, that's the whole drown pass now that we've checked it all out. So you can go down here if you want. I don't know. Oh, that's that portal. Okay. Yeah, there's the other portal. Alright, cool. Yep, let's head to the uh, gatekeeper. You're like, yo, wake up. 
We got to get past you. And he's going to be like, well, you got to do me a favor just like you did my my brother or whatever he says. <laughs> my brethren or whatever, my kind, my kin, some shit. I don't know. All right, let's get that horn equipped. Yo. Must be another way. I do not want to help you. Fuck that. Turns out war's an asshole. Nah, he's like, all right, fuck. I'll go into the shadow realm. I'll help your big. I'll help your big goofy ass. So I don't remember one being up there. Let's just hit this one over here real quick. Um, it's across from us. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Oh, so this is the tunnel. I thought it was underwater. I guess not. This one's above water. I was wrong, but there is a, a thingamajig over here that we got to take care of. Yeah. Portal trial. Let's get it. All right, let's see what crazy shit we have to do for this one. Gates up. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Ah, foiled by the giant eye once again. Man, what will you have me do this time, giant eye? The counter kill. Kill five enemies using only block and projectile counterattacks within the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any time left on the clock. So you gotta press right B to block their attacks like as soon as they hit. But I'm gonna weaken them first, that way I can... All right, see, there you go. Now just wait for him to attack and then get him on the counterattack. And that's one kill. Look at that. Just a basic-ass combo. Sounds good. Oh, I missed. Ooh, I got both of them <laughs> with one swipe. I like it. One's pretty easy. Pretty simple and clean, just like the Kingdom Hearts song. Damn, I was. You know, I'm fucking up. There we go. There's... Oh, shit. <laughs> he did that second swipe automatically. I wasn't counting on that. Damn, I got a lot of souls. I finished that quick. I had two, uh, two twofers. And then, of course, I got the single on its own. Ooh. All right. Get all my wrath filled up and get all my health filled up and my controller batteries are low. That's not good. Hopefully I can finish this episode before my controller dies. I think I'll be able to. Let's see. And then I got to swap them out. I'm not going to charge it. I'm going to Cuz I have to like keep it. I don't know. These these controllers are all old and charging cords old. Like I've had my my Xbox 1 for like what, 5 years now. All the same shit, so <clears throat> yeah. Let's hit up the second uh, second trial at the top of this building. This is that second building. It's the only thing over here. The other building had the artifact and the soul chest. I got stuck in a weird angle there. Let's do this. <laughs> Kill 30 enemies using the destructive power of Wrath's Chaos form within the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any time left on the clock. So now we have to keep entering Chaos um, form mode. And I think, I believe, it. I feel like it charges quicker in here than it normally does. Like in the, when you're all running around normally, you know. 
I don't want to kill that guy. Oops, I did. <laughs> and then I kill him. All right, whatever. Let's just go into it. I feel like the cast form will kill him pretty easily anyway. Takes three swipes unless I catch him with that spin one. I got 11 on that first one. That wasn't too bad. Now we got to tag these guys and get our ouch chaos form up. Oh, that's a lot of dudes ready to die right there. Come on, chaos form. Come back. There we go. Oh shit, we got a big one. We got a big one. Yeah, I'm gonna go stone skin. Ow. Fuck. We got two big ones. Oh man. There's a lot of enemies right now. Let me go into this little animation to get me, ah, uh, give me a little bit of invincibility. All right, give me the small guys. Damn, I'm not going to get it. I didn't get it, wow. How did I not get that? Where are all the little guys at? All right, I'll go back into stone skin. <laughs> Damn it, I thought that would do, do some crazier shit, but I was wrong. Let's finish this time trial up. Taking way too long. Way longer than I needed to. I can't believe I had to change four times. Thought I'd do it in three. Shit, that third one was kind of a was a botch, I don't know. Transformation. I don't know why, I always do the Wrath first. I think I did the Wrath first on <laughs> every single trial so far. Maybe it's just that left to right mentality, I don't know. I guess it's kind of nice that you can't dash off of the cliffs there. There's some good stuff. All right, trial number three. This is war to home base. I'm in. I'm infiltrated. <laughs> well, not infiltrated because I teleported in pretty easily. It's like they wanted me to come in. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! Okay, eyeball. Keep at least one undead soldier alive throughout the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for each undead soldier that survives. So yeah, you get these six, like, assistants or whatever for this one. You gotta keep them alive. At least one throughout the five minute time limit, so we're gonna go through the all five minutes of this. This one forces you to do five minutes. On my practice playthrough, I had all six survive, so let's see if I can pull off a repeat here. I don't know how much weaker the uh, soldiers are in apocalyptic mode, but it was quite easy on normal mode, so yeah, let's get them all together. Bunch them all together so I don't have to run all over the place to defend these guys. We'll bring all the enemies this way. All right, all right, fellas. How's that sound? Sounds good, Brian. All right, cool. Glad we got a strategy then. Yeah, let's all—all all six of you bum rush one. I'll take on the rest. All right. I'm pretty sure six of you can take on one without dying. And that'll leave me free to just destroy, just absolutely annihilate everything else. No mercy, guys. No mercy. Remember that. Are they like skeletons? It looks like they're like skeleton warriors of some sort. 
don't know if they're variations of these guys. Oh shit, all right, so yeah, we gotta take on the big guys. Get out of there, fellas. Oh man, they were just all about killing him. They're like, I'll stand next to him while he explodes. You think I give a shit? I'm like, I did actually think you gave a shit, but I guess I was wrong. I was incorrect on that, Mark. Damn it, I didn't get to... I was trying to kill him. Because I think if you kill him before he explodes, it'll... He won't explode, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say, it'll... It'll won't happen. He won't explode if you... But maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. I'm not the master of this game. I'm just a... Just a walkthrough... Expert. I don't know. <laughs> not a master, just an expert. I don't know all the ins and outs. Or all the lore. I do have a friend who's really into the lore. He's like read all the books and shit. All the side books. Played through both games. I'll probably borrow a strategy guide for the second game. When I go through that one. So hell yeah, I will go through the second. I've actually never played the second one. So it'll be interesting. The third one's coming out, which kind of inspired me to do this. I was like, man, that was a really good game. I guess I could do that for my channel. Why not? I was like, fuck it, dude. Saving this chaos form for a bigger baddie that'll be coming up soon. Alright, there's one. I don't think it's it's not him though. Ooh, dodge, get out of here. Ouch. Shit. Alright, stone skin. I will use the B move to execute this guy just to get it over with. Oh. Got him. Alright. Got him, coach. Okay, you guys doing good over there? Good. A six on two. Is that what I'm seeing? I like it, boys. I like it. Oh, shit. I think the stone skin also gives him, like, more knockback or something. I don't know. Oh, wow. He died really quick, actually, with this, the swipes. I guess I could just swipe swipe the big guy. Saving my chaos for him in case one of those big-ass dudes pops up. That's what I'm waiting for. I can't remember, but I think, it, I think he does. You get one of those, like, big horned guys, you know? You guys know what I'm talking about. Those assholes. We encounter one on the bridge. Or whatever, the broken stairs. We encountered one at the beginning of the game, but we had our chaos form, so we whooped its ass. Which is what I'm planning on doing a repeat of, you know? Now that dude took a fucking combo. I guess he doesn't. Alright, I guess I could have used my chaos form, but... Whatever, that's fine. I got more weapon experience, so that's pretty groovy. In its own right, you know? See if I can kill his last guy before the time limit. Let's see if I can get another one. <laughs> and another one. All right, that's it. Oh, oh, I did get another one. Look at that. Woo! Good job, boys. Good job, fellas. My, I guess they're, I don't know if they're skeletons. They're kind of like skeletal versions of those demon things we just fought. We did it, fellas. It was a pleasure. Bada bing, bada boom. We are at full strength, ready to enter this fourth and final trial. These trials are time consuming. All right, here we go back to that room with the abyssal armor piece and the, uh, I think it was just souls was the other. The other chest. I guess that was the only abyssal armor piece. I thought we got another one soon. No, it was an artifact. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the two artifacts. That's right. I did say that. Two artifacts. Okay.
Let's get rolling. Just in case you didn't get the picture from the eighth for the eighth time. And then it shows the same cutscene. Kill 15 enemies using environmental weapon attacks. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any time left on the clock. Teleport or just portals, just dropping cars in there. Like, here you go, war. You're gonna need these. Alright, um. Passive drastically guarantees souls. Well, I mean, we're gonna get souls anyway by the cars, so I don't really think. But the passive bonus. I don't really need it. You know, I'll just equip it for the. Because I'm never gonna use that, anyways. I'll just equip it for the sake of this trial. Give it some sort of point use, I don't know. He's <laughs> just like, ow. That hurt. <laughs> I won't be using my Chaos Eater at all, so I'm like, man, I might as well. Give my give my weapon master, you know, enhancement or a little break. It's like, woo, you've been using me ever since you, you picked me up, Brian. Ever since you bought me from Volgrim. And I'm like, I know. It's because you're good at augmentation. <coughs> Idiot, he's like taunting me, jumping on top of that car. I feel like I'll get those bats and one little toss if I can... Fucking target him. There we go. Yeah, it is one toss. Keep pressing B. Unnecessary. Oh man, we got a toxic. T we got toxic time over here. We got two toxic times. Oh shit. So let's focus on these little guys for now. Damn it, not... I said the little guy's war. We both wanted to auto-target that guy. Alright, come on. One more, one more, one more. Give me a car. There we go. We get all up in their face. I feel like the closer you are, the more damage it does. I guess I was wrong. Ugh! Get out of here. Get out of here, Toxic Tom. Ain't nobody got time for you. You're too toxic. You say the worst things. And spread, <laughs> spread lies and rumors. False rumors. Possession instantly increases war's chaos level to maximum. So we get our... Whoops. It's our third vessel. Whatever you want to call it. And woo! I have two possessions. Wow, how, how useful. Can't wait. I prefer another life essence. Or maybe even a wrath essence or whatever. But that's all good. Alright, I need to switch this back before I forget... Look at that experience bar. It's getting up there. We do still have a whole other location. Anvil's forward after this. Get the hell out of here. Go talk to that gatekeeper once again. Let's get out of here. I fucking hate the Shadow Realm. Yeah, is, you can't really do a whole lot here except go into portals and take care of trials. Can't access any chests. You can't, uh, whatever. Access any artifacts, any pickups, any collectibles whatsoever. I think this might be the last time we do these, though. I don't, I don't remember if we do them again. You can only do them twice. Like the first half. first half of the game is a bit longer. You go through more areas. Like the bottom half of the map has like seven areas compared to, or one, two. I think it has like nine areas compared to like four or five in the top half of the map. So definitely good. But, but one of the areas in the top half is huge. It's massive. That's where we go next. It's like our next main dungeon is that area. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get our next piece, our next abyssal armor piece. Beautiful. 
We're gonna head on in here. Or should we save this for next episode? I'm thinking we should save this for next episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll head on in here in next episode. So we've just accessed uh, Anvil's Ford, and that's the access tunnel right there. We'll clear that out next episode, because we're at like a half hour right now, you know. And next episode might not be too long. Might be kind of a shorter one. So anyways, thank you all for... Whoa! This guy wants to interrupt my outro. Anyone else feeling lucky? Or shifty? We're going to hit another... I think we hit another Volgum location. If not, go visit Volgum right now if you want to. So anyways, thank you for watching. See, I've already kind of accessed Anvil's Ford on accident. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. My name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.